Good morning. Welcome to day 16 of Vlogmas. I'm so happy to have you guys here joining me and I really appreciate it. So much fun. Things are better with friends, right? I took last night and we relaxed. I painted my nails. I got to bed super early. Um, which meant that I got up early. <laughs> so it's been, it's been a wonderful morning so far. And this afternoon at my workplace, we're having like a little, you know, gathering for Christmas. Um, cause you know, instead we can't go out and do something. So we're going to do some things inside. So that's exciting to do. Mm. Very excited about that. So. But let's open some advents, see what we have going on for today in the world of tea and how we can make this work and what we're going to have for breakfast. So I'm going to start my breakfast, but we need to, we need to add tea to it. <laughs> you might hear some kitties crying in the background because they are waiting for Jeanette to come down so that Phoebe can have her treats. She does a treat maze every morning and then Gary has his medicine in some luxurious wet food. So that's all ready. We're just waiting for Jeanette to come down. So, all right, let me, let me just grab David's tea right away, right? And I love how much you guys can understand how excited I am about the kindness box that I'm giving away this year. And like last year, we filled it up and I'm just like, I think that you guys can appreciate now how much I enjoy hanging out with you guys and how excited I am to make sure that this box is spectacular because I added my <laughs> favorite coffee puer, my stash. I added a 50 gram bag to it. So David's tea, 24 days of matcha. Day 16, like seriously, like I just want to savor each day and each moment. It is the one I've been looking for. Ah! Lavender honey matcha. Oh my gracious, thank you. This, this has to be a good sign, okay. Let's do bird and blend next and we're looking for, oh, I see number 16 right away. It is a little bakery with a little elf. So cute. Now here's where I'm like, oh, I'm afraid of my nails. Cute little Christmas tree. Red means I'm great with or without milk. Caffeine free. We have ourselves some eggnog. A creamy Christmas cup of vegan goodness. So it's rooibos, cinnamon, sunflower petals and natural flavoring. Interesting. Up next, we have AC Perch, one of my favorites. I'm loving this. I mean, I love them all. Let me find 16. 16's right here. Oh, and look, we almost match. Ah! Oh, I really like this pink. That's really pretty. Oh, that smells so good. Let's, let's check out what it says. 16, organic green tea from Colombia. Green Colombia has a fresh and unique taste. Colombia began growing tea back in the early 1950s when the local Department of Agricultural imported tea plants from Ceylon to help diversify Colombian agriculture. The plants are grown in volcanic soil which naturally promotes lush plant growth. The consistent climate and ideal soil conditions result in a lavish production of tasty, delicate teas all year round. Ooh, this is exciting. It smells like, there's like a sweetness to it. Oops. Very nice. Excited about that one. Okay, before we dive into the next advent calendar, we have the box, the, the kindness giveaway box. And yeah, if you're new here, welcome. 
for Vlogmas 2020. We are filling a box full of goodies and it will be given away to somebody at random drawn from the comments. So an entry, all the details will be in the description down below, but basically you get an entry every time that you comment on one of the Vlogmas series 2020 videos. So far we have 50 grams of my personal favorite coffee puer, which is out of stock, and hazelnut rocher, brochure. Ferrero Rocher. I'm still struggling with that one. Bird and Blend. And of course, we started it off with one of my stickers. This is the circular brew kindness sticker with one of my antique Ainsley teacups, kind of artistically cracked a little bit more than it already was. Just to show us that, you know, to remind us that. We're just, we're all a little broken and to just be careful with each other. All right, so I want to add something else to it in the first thing in the morning. I just, I feel like that's going to be great. <laughs> that's going to be fun. Out of my own stash of purchases, I am going to add the Rare Tea Company, and this is the Tea and Herb Loose Leaf. This is the sample pack. So it's spectacular. It contains seven loose leaves, and it says that it's enough for 28 cups. It comes with white silver tip, jasmine silver tip, whole leaf green tea, Earl Grey, whole chamomile flowers, single estate English breakfast, and wild harvest rooibos. Rare Tea Company is just, so great. Henrietta is the owner and she is adorable. This is what the packages look like. They're so cute, so adorable. And I have been hanging on to those for someone special and that's going to be one of you guys. So into the box it goes. I need to get a bigger box. All right, there we go. My poor thing is falling apart. <laughs> I am like been destroying this. I've had a couple hard mornings trying to figure out how to make things work here. All right, 16. Oh, way over here. 16, is this like a lemur? I'm not quite sure, super cute. Green jasmine, green, green scented, <laughs> jasmine scented green tea. And next up we have the English Tea Shop. This advent was gifted to me from my lovely friend, Danny. Thank you so much, Danny. Always appreciate this. And we have number 16. We should be seeing some repeats now. And this one is a repeat because this is a 24 day calendar but there's only 13 different blends. Post-party refresh. And we know we've had that before, but I don't think I got a chance to taste it. So let's see if we can get through these all today. It's because I ramble so much. That's what happens. All right, next one. Up next is Tea Thought. And this is a 12 day countdown and we're doing it every other day. So we do these on even days. So today is the 16th, we're doing number eight. And this is one that I've been so curious about. It's square, <laughs> so cute. And with the tea thoughts, it's tea and treats. So we, you know, might not necessarily get tea, but that's quite all right. Nazanin is the owner of tea thoughts. And she always does a fabulous job. Like she created this wrapping paper. So beautiful. Oh my gracious. This is adorable. So post-it notes. Look at this. 
These are so cute. Okay, so, and my nails are matching. Well, maybe not matching, but they're complimenting. Little teacups. So cute. And this one, I chied. <laughs> That's my favorite. I love it. I chied. <laughs> so cute. Oh, dear. Let's see if she tells us anything fun in here. Day eight, sticky notes. The holidays can be a stressful time. You can use these sticky notes to organize your thoughts, write motivational notes, love notes, and more. I love it. <laughs> it's so adorable. All right. We have one more left. Let's grab it. All right. Up next is the T and Me blog. And this is a, I keep saying 24 day countdown. It's actually, I think, 25. Yeah. 25. All right. So today it's still the 16th. I think it would change. Oh, 16. Look at this. Good morning. Good morning. Jeanette's up. All right. 16. This is the one that's looked like, like the candy. All right. Let's see what we got. Look what is happening. Like, what is this? Oh my gracious. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh. This is fairy tale tea. This is tea that I've been wanting to try. She is so delightful. Like, I, I just need a minute. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. I'm okay. So one, I really love nice companies and nice people. She is one of them. So sweet. So lovely. And then two, look at this packaging. Like it's adorable. Wow. <sighs> Marissa Kin Kinsler is the owner. And it says, all it takes is a little faith, trust, and a little bit of pixie dust. And that's by J.M. Barry. But like, look, this is like a little book. So cute. And then this. Let me see if I can get this off. Remember I said Jeanette was going to give kitty treats. That's, that's what's happening right now. Bye, Gary. And then Gary gets his pill. This is so exciting. Okay. Like, look at the lid. Oh my gosh, there's like pixie dust coming out. Really? Yes. Neat. It's like all glittery. This is the most special thing I've ever seen. Like, can you guys see that sparkle? Look at it, it's sparkling. That is so fun. This is amazing. And like the branding, my gosh, she did such a good job. Look at that. Look at the sparkle. <gasps> you guys. Oh, it's like amazing. Look, look at that tube. I'm just, oh. this is so good. This is a great day. Okay, this is what we have on the go for today from our advance. So we have the Colombian green tea from AC Perch. We have green jasmine tea from Kusmi. We have some post-it notes from Tea Thoughts. We have eggnog, a rooibos blend from Bird and Blend. We have my favorite lavender honey matcha to drink from David's Tea. And we have post party refresh from the English Tea Shop. And I am having like a little bit of a party today. And then we have the fairy tales tea. Like, <laughs> let's see. I guess it's called Once Upon a Time. 
which is so cute. And the ingredients, and this is for the fairy tale teas, Cylon black tea, calendula petals, sunflower petals, jasmine petals, mallow petals, organic natural flavors, and edible glitter. So adorable. <laughs> okay, I need to get my breakfast going and um, yeah, and make up one of these. Okay, we have three jars and you can see I use my sticker on one of my jars and we're gonna fill them up. So the first one is going to be the burden blend and we're gonna do an iced eggnog. Second one is going to be the Colombian green tea hot. And then we're gonna do a lavender honey matcha as the iced latte. Let's get going. Okay, it's way, way too cold out. Like, frigid. I don't even know what the temperature is. Frigid. It's just really, really cold. <laughs> but I got the garbage out, so mission accomplished. Okay, so we had our afternoon Christmas party. I can't wait to catch you up on the teas that I drank today, but right now I have to run some work errands, so which has me going into a store that sometimes has a lineup. So we're gonna cross our fingers that I'm there early enough that there's no lineup. Maybe I can find something for the box. Mom made us this big welcome sign. Isn't that so pretty? Do you want to help us open basic tea? Maybe. The gentlest of purrs. <laughs> oh, they're getting louder. All right, we have. Welcome to Storytime with Jeanette. Day 16. And Geary. That's 19, isn't it? Yep. There's 16. Cookies. Chocolate chip cookies would be good. They would be good. Whoops. Did you just rip the whole thing off? Yeah, yep, sure did. It's because the glue that sticks the flap of the envelope together was stronger than whatever they used to stick the envelope on. Yeah. Anyway. Sounds jingly. It's a pin and it says, hello, my name is Regina Falange. <laughs> Can I see? 
And I have no idea what that's referring to, so that must be from one of the later seasons. So now we have to figure out what that's from, because that's going to drive me absolutely nuts. Yeah. And it's very embarrassing that I don't know. Isn't it something, I feel like it's a Rachel thing. Well, I can look it up. Okay. Okay. I feel like it's like something that Rachel said. It feels familiar to me. Or maybe Phoebe. Nope. Phoebe. Hello, my name is Regina Falange. I'm a businesswoman in town on business. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I still don't know what... Uh... What episode it was? Yeah, let's see here. Well, while you're looking it's, that up, oh, you got it? This one website says it comes from the translation of those two words into English, finger queen. Oh gracious, maybe. <laughs> Which it does. Um, in the third episode of Friends, Phoebe finds a thumb in a can of pop, making her the finger queen for the rest of the show. Uh. So apparently it's something she always uses, always uses the same fake name. Neat. <laughs> well, you can put your pin on. I'll wear it to work tomorrow. <laughs> There you Luckily, go. I rarely have to see anybody. <laughs> exactly. So it'll just be Tim wondering what the heck I'm doing with this. <laughs> he won't ask. Okay. What do you think, Gary? Woo! Oh, gracious. Let's check in with Gare Bear. Yes. Hi, Gare Bear. How you doing? Cranky. You got the snuggly chair tonight before Phoebe did. Yeah. All right. All right. Anything else? Nope. I have stuck the envelope back on. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you need to get some glue for that. All right. I've stuck the envelope back on. Yes. Yeah. Magnificently. Now we will gently close it. All right. And put it back on the shelf. <laughs> okay, so I have made up the fairy tale tea, the Once Upon a Time. This is the one with all the sparkles and everything, and it's so pretty, and I just am so in love with it. And I haven't even tasted it. It smells so delicious. This is amazing. 
That is so good. And I'm not just saying that just because it's like sparkly and I'm completely in love with it because of the sparkles. It like, it tastes like um, a very delicate cookie. Like it's like not too sweet. It's just like, it's perfect. It's just, it's like a dream. Uh. That is like a 10. That is amazing. I'm so, so thrilled. <laughs> okay, so this morning we had the AC purchase and it was the um, Columbia Green and this was just so good. It was, yeah, I would drink this on repeat. That was delicious. And I just, somebody had asked if I have most of my tea like just black, like without any sugar or, or cream or anything. And typically that's where I start, unless it's like matcha, <laughs> which I, I enjoy as an iced matcha latte. So this one here, delightful, highly recommend, amazing. Then for my mid-morning snack, I had the lavender honey matcha as, like I said, an iced latte. And I use oat milk. I really like the creaminess of oat milk. It's delicious and it really goes really well with the, the matcha drink. So I actually did, usually I would do just like two scoops of the flavored matcha with one scoop of like just pure matcha. However, I wanted to try the whole thing, just dumped it all in. It was delightful, it was really good. Oh, Gary's digging around down there. Then, like I said, I was having festivities for the afternoon with my work. And I decided to have the Bird and Blend Eggnog, and I done that as a cold steep um, all morning. I, I mean, I love real eggnog, and but I'm very particular about what eggnog it is. It's a very specific brand in our town. So, I mean, this was fine, but it didn't taste like eggnog to me. Um, I basically just, you know, tasted the rooibos, Mm, and maybe some sort of other flavoring that I couldn't really figure out, but it it was good. I drank it, <laughs> but um, yeah, it definitely didn't taste like eggnog to me, but this here is amazing. I'm still just stunned at it, and like the packaging is so cute, so adorable. Oh, she does such a good job. And with that, I think I will say a good night. I will chat with you guys down in the comments. I'm gonna catch up, I promise. I see them all and it's so nice. It's very delightful to see your guys' kind comments and yeah, I really appreciate it. So thank you. Chat with you guys down there. Until next time, take care. Bye. Good night. You wanna say good night? Good night. <laughs> Bye.